السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرخلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم السانی اقہ قولی ربنا ضدنا علما اللہم فقنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسلوک علم النافیہ و رزق طیبہ و عمل متقبلہ آمین یا رب العالمین سو ہی وی آر ان آر سیشن نمبر ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ تھرٹی ون for Quranic Arabic grammar and session number 12 for Surah Ar-Rahman and inshallah we will be completing our surah and we will be learning uh, about the gems that we collected from Surah Ar-Rahman so let's begin Bismillah so in our last session we have covered the last few verses of the surah and I'm going to take you back to the last few verses and we will do a quick surf of the verses and inshallah then we will come back to uh, doing the um, the gems that we are going to supposed to do today inshallah so in the last few verses we came across the word mudhamatan so who remembers where which family is this word from what was the name for the family have you ever covered it is this a um, big family or is it a small family? Is it a Salasi al Mujarad or is it a uh, um, Mazid Fihi? It's a big family because the Meem Dhamma here is telling you that this word is coming from the big family, right? It is some file, maful, or zarf of the big family. Um, this is a family of colors. What have we learned in the family? Two families we have learned of colors. Formally, we have gone over two families of colors. One was form nine, right? And then there was another form. I, I did not give you a number for that, right? However, the name for that family is Bab If Ilal. Bab If Ilal. Do you remember? And this is actually the superlative form of the first Bab, okay? So, um, if mirar, if ilal, the superlative of if ilal is if ilal, where the ya is added. Okay, and this is, you know, if uh, something is red, if, if ahmarra is red, if marara is very, you know, when the word is put in this family, it is very, very red. Okay, does it make sense? So, if something is in 5 9 and it, it, it's red, but when it comes to this family, it is intensely red. It is a, it, it's the most red you can ever see. Okay? Remember that. Okay? So, it, it is scholars say, the scholars of surf say that this family is a superlative of form 9. Okay? And how many letters Mazid is this? You have notes on, the, uh, on this family, if you remember. Where are my notes here? If you remember, I taught you what is Ziyada in this family. There are three letters. There were three letters more, okay? One was Hamzat al -wasal. One was Alif after the Ainul Kalima. And the third thing was there was doubling of Lamul Kalima, okay? So if you look at the past tense of this is Idhama. So Hamza, extra. Right? Da, hal, meem are the root letters. Dal, ha, meem are the root letters. Tell me what extra do you see? Every one type. I have how many people here, participants here? Um, Sister Afshan, Sister Annie. Everyone, please type today. I want everyone. There is Hamza, Hamza Tulwasal, extra. And so that you all know, I have given the haraka to this Hamza. If you don't see the ha haraka on the Hamza, even then, you should know that this Hamza should be read with the Kasra, right? So, Hamza is extra. Alif after the second root letter is extra. And this doubling of meme, this two Lamul Kalima, right? So, three extras. Everyone on uh, with me on this page, uh, on the same page, on this page, <laughs> right? So, it's clear to each and every one of you. So, how we have learned surf in this course is, if you go over the surf videos um, that I have um, posted on the YouTube channel, you will come across that students have learned how form 2, 3, and 4 are mazid bihar. There is only one letter more. When it comes to 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 
six, seven, eight, and also when it even comes to form nine, how many letters more is our fail? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two letters more, right? When it comes to istaghfara, how many letters more? Three letters. So they have learned it. Al mazid bi harf. Al mazid bi harfain. Al mazid bi salasat al ahraf. So they can count what is extra and they should be able to determine the root letter of their word. Okay, some people have the questions how do I know the root letter? So when they know the surf and they know that these three are the extra letters, then they should be able to determine that these are the root letters of the word. And all this Hamza is extra, the Salif is extra, and the one meme is extra. It's a part of the family. It's not the uh, root letter. So it is Dal Ha Meme. Okay. Is this a Salasi Al Mujarad? You are going to call it a Salasi Al Mujarad or you are going to uh, put it in Rubai? Or a Salasi Al Mazid Fihi? Mazid Fihi. Salasi Mazid Fihi. Because when I did not know about this family, when I had no idea about this family, I had no clue where this word was coming from. So I have, you know, that is why I I taught our uh, course in our in this course I taught this family. I spent some time. Remember, just like your form nine has no passive, this also has no passive. It's the same as form nine. It is just the exaggerated form of it. It's just the hyperbole of it. It is just um a superlative form of your form nine. Keep that in mind. Everyone with me so far? If you are, type one. It has no passive and people are, you know, sometimes will be sending me questions and they will be showing me where, people, you know, sometimes they have seen the passive forms for form nine or for this form. Um, there is no second line for this. Okay. Remember, there is no passive for it. And this is from verse. Uh, this is for your verse here. And one second here. Let me show you the words where you found this word. Okay, one second. Let me take you to this. Mudhamatan. Here, I number 63, 4. Is this clear, Sister Abhya? In this verse, you are seeing this word. Okay. And this is from this family. And this family is Al-Mazid B. Salasatil Akhraf. Okay, there are three extra letters in this family. Hamzatul Wasal, Alif after the second root letter, and Lamul Kalima, it has doubled up. Okay, okay, after you have understood this, I will want you to tell me the surf of this word, Tabaraka. Is this Salasi? Mazid fihi or Mujarad. It is Mazid. Mazid bi harf. Mazid bi harfain. Mazid bi salasat al akhraf. Give me how many letters more? Tabaraka. There is ta before the first root letter. There is alif after, after the first root letter. This alif, this alif standing alif. This is after the bar. You, are, you don't read it, Tabaraka. You read it, Tabaraka. Right? It is Al-Mazid bi harfain, as Sister Anab has written. So, I will, inshallah, we will, we can, you know, go over how to, you know, um, uh, call what is bi harf, bi harfain, bi salasat al akhraf. We can do a quick, um, inshallah, review of our uh, surf, um, inshallah, in the upcoming sessions. But for now, you should know when you look at family number six, there, is, there are two letters more. Biharfain. It is Mazid Biharfain. There is Ta extra, there is Alif extra, and you are seeing both of them, right? Ta and Alif are extra. And um, Ta before the first root letter and Alif after the first root letter. And this is family number.
it's not family number three, it's family number six, right? It is family number six. Family number three is Jahada Yujahidu. There is no ta in Jahada Yujahidu. And it is not, uh, family number three is not, uh, you know, it is not a Mazid Biharfain. It is just Mazid Biharf. There is only one Alif extra, right? Jahada Yujahidu, Jihadan wa Mujahadatan wa huwa Mujahidun. So, right? Everyone with me so far? The last word for yourself is Al Ikram. Yes. So, Tabaraka is from Ta'avana. Very well done. Tasa'ala. Very well done. Yes. Those are your, the most commonly used of all for your um, for, for, for form six. So, Tasa'ala or Ta'avana. Yes. You're right. Wal Ikram. Al Ikram. Where is this word coming from? It's an ism. It's an ism and it is a master of your family number four. And is family four. Mazid or Mujarrad? It is Mazid. Now tell me, Mazid bi harf, Mazid bi harfain, or Mazid bi salasatil ahraf? One letter more, two letter more, three letters more. Only one letter more, right? And if you know how many letters more, you will never be wrong with your root letters. You will know what is your root letter. What is the meaning of your word? Okay, inshallah. Everyone with me so far? Is this all good? Should I move forward? Okay. okay. Let's start what we were supposed to cover today. So today we were going to review the gems from Surah Ar-Rahman. What did you learn in Surah Ar-Rahman? When you come across this word Ar-Rahman, why is this word Partly flexible. Who remembers? Is every word that has extra alif noon? What did we learn? Is every word that is with extra alif noon going to be partly flexible? Or there is a reason. It has to be either ism alam, which means a name like Imran, Luqman, Suleiman, right? Or it should be Sifa Mushabba. Like Rahman, Ghadban, Atishan. Okay, remember, not just say proper. It has to be a name, a name of a, anything, name of anything. Imran, Luqman, Suleiman, any name. Okay, proper name, proper name. Okay, not just proper, proper name. Or it must be Sifa Mushabba, like Rahman, Ghadban, Atishan. Not everyone, not every word that is Ziyadatul Alif Noon is going to be partly flexible. And the term and the Arabic term for partly flexible is going to be Mamnu Minasar. What cannot be on partly flexible word? Partly flexible words cannot take this and this. Tell me just real quick. Cannot take Kasra, cannot take Tanmeen. Is there any way they can take Kasra? Is there any Ruling, yes, they can take Asra. If they have Al attached, add Al. With Al, they are going to be able to take Kasra. Or if the word is a Mudaf. When I say, Bismillah ar-Rahmani rahim ar-Rahmani. Why is ar-Rahmani with the Kasra? What qualified it to take a Kasra? In Bismillah ar-Rahmani rahim al barakallahu fi. You are all good with that. We learned the first verse, you know, Ar-Rahman was a Muqtada. Allah al-Quran, Khalaq al-Insan, Allah al bayan were all the akhbar of that Muqtada. When a sentence is in the beginning of any surah, that sentence is called Jumla Ibtidaiya, the beginning sentence, right? What is the status of any beginning sentence? La mahala laha min al -irab. It will have no status. Remember that for the rest of your life. Okay? It was not just for Surah Al-Rahman. You are going to do Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Ali Imran, Surah Al-Fatiha. Remember, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. La mahala laha min al -irab. Because it is Jumla Ibtidaiya. Okay? 
So any beginning sentence is going to be la mahalla min al -Iraq. We learned three types of akhbar. What were those three types of akhbar? And do it how we have done it. Do, uh, you, don't, you don't need to use any uh, standard method. How you have been taught in this course, just to, uh, tell me. Mufridism, right? It can be Ar-Rahman, Azim. Okay, just one ism. Or whom? Qafilun, <coughs> like Mufridism. Okay, one word. Then it can be a sentence. And the sentence can be Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Failia. That is how we have learned. In, in, in our course, we have only done the three ways, Mufridism, Jumla Ismiya, Jumla Failia, Jum, Shubu Jumla, we usually call it Mutalik Bil Khabar, right? <coughs> we have been labeling it as Mutalik Bil Khabar, right? Then, in the, um, in the course, we learned about the pronouns in a fail. And sometimes we do have the pronouns that will be visible, right? They are pronouns that are visible pronouns in a fail. And those pronouns are called Adamair ul Bariza, right? Visible pronoun, Bariz. They are Bariz. For example, we have seen in fail Mudare, Alif ul Isnain. Nunu Niswa, Wabil Jama'a, Yaul Mukhatiba. Like the word Tam Surina, Tam Surina, the Ya here tells you it is Anti Tam Surina. In all those highlighted yellow, are, uh, all those letters that are highlighted yellow are your visible pronouns. Is this clear to each and every one of you? You learned. Special five of all. You knew about special five asma, but in this course you were taught al afalul khamsa. Right? Those five of all that have visible pronouns and they end with noon, that is the noon of status, right? Those of all that can have either wawil jama'a, aliful isnain, ya'ul mukhataba, right? In the case of yansuruna or yatufuna, you see vow, that is vowel jama'a. Or when you see word tukazibani, do you see a doer pronoun in tukazibani? Yes or no? Yes, and that is aliful isnain, that is your doer pronoun. Right? You did not see any example of yaul mukhataba, but you will, you were told that you know you can have. Yal Mukhataba as your clear visible pronoun and those of all that have noon as the noon of their status, they are called Al Af Alul Khamsa. They all share one thing in common. The noon determines the status of these of all. If a noon is there, what is the status of these of all? In case of Af Alul Khamsa, if noon is there, the status is rough. If the noon gets dropped, the status can be this or this. Either nasb or jazm, right? Either it can be nasb or jazm. So, mansub or majzoom. Everyone with me so far? I hope. Hmm? Okay. You learned there are four ways of commanding in Quran. You know, it's very uh, sometimes uh, uh, disturbing for me when I have to tell people, you know, okay, when I'm teaching Philul Am, that you can only command to the second person because that's not true actually, right? You will see in Quran four ways of commanding, my dear students. It can be a standard Philul Am where you are going to give command to second person only. When you have a standard failul amr, who do you command? First person, second person, or third person? Only second person, right? Anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna. Then comes your lamul amr. Lamul amr will, with failul mudare majzoom. Lamul amr with failul mudare majzoom. Al mudare al makrun bilam. It In this case, all three is possible. All three is possible. First person, second person, third person. Everything is possible. Okay? 
Is this clear? Then you learned you can command by using a master. What is this word? Is this not the master from family four? Ahsana yuhsinu ihsanan and do excellence with your two parents. So here mazdar is being used as a means to command people. This helps you that this command is applicable to everyone because the doer is not mentioned here, right? So it broadened the spectrum. Each and every person has to do the ihsan with the two parents. Command is applicable to each and every one of you at each and every moment of your life. Clear? When the doer is not mentioned, everything, does it broadens the scope, right? So it is applicable to each and every one at every point in their life. Then we must have seen in Quran that ismu fail can be used as a way of commanding, for example, when you hear Hayya ala salah in Indo Park or whichever part of the world you are, and you can hear salah, if you, you can hear the azan being called when the muazzin says Hayya ala salah, come to salah. Hayya is a ismu fail, it's an ism that is used as failul amr. In Quran, you see word halumma. You, when you see, say, Ameen, it means istajib. Please respond, O Allah. So these words are all isms, but they are used as a means of commanding someone to do something. Is this clear to each and every word, one of you? There are four ways in Quran of commanding. And this we have gone over when we were learning in Surah Ar-Rahman, this beautiful verse, um, this one, the Akimul Wazna Bil Qist. This is a regular failul amr, right? It is command being given given to Antum. You all establish the balance, right? But in Quran, you can have other ways where you can see people are being commanded using some other tools, either by use of Lamul Amr with Mudare Majzoom, Lamul Amr with the lightest Mudare, right? Light Lam with the lightest Mudare, Lamul Amr with Fail Mudare Majzoom, or Mazdar is used as a tool to command, and, or Ism, Ism is used as a Failul Amr, okay? So this Lamul Amr from Haruf e Jazima from, is from Haruf e Jazima. In, lam, lamma, li, la. Remember all those haroof that we have learned in term two? Li was one of those haroof. And you can see here, fal yusim, fal yusim, right? Fal, lamul amr takes a sakoon if it is preceded by three haroof, haroof atifa. And those three haroof include, who can tell me, when lamul amr, Jazima is preceded by three haruf -e atifa Instead of keeping its kasra, it changes that kasra into sukun. Wow is one of them. Fa is another one. Summa is the third one. Always remember, you will learn it in your tajweed. You are going to learn it in your tajweed if you are not already learned so. That when lamul la, lami ja, lamul um, haruf -e la alam, which is lamul jazima is preceded by wow, fa, thumma, it loses its kasra, it takes on sakoon. In Bahina, you may have learned it as wal fal, right? Wal fal. But this wal fal is coming from the rule of tajweed. When wow, fa, thumma precede lamul jazima, which was originally li, it loses its kasra, it takes on sakoon. Is it clear, Sister Ranas? I hope you're with me. And the third one, third one, once again, Wabil Walidaini Ihsanan. Why is not Ihsinub Bil Walidaini? 
that you do you all do good to your parents ihsanan using this you have broadened the scope those who are here reading quran those who are not even there everyone this application this rule is applied to each and every one who reads quran who does not read quran this is a general ruling everyone must abide by this you must you are muslim or not a muslim this is this is must be practiced by each and every one this rule is applicable to entire society at every stage of your life okay so it is to broaden the number of doers now it is not restricted to the second person it is restricted to third it is it is applicable to first second third everyone okay think of it like that okay i have to cover a lot so can i move ahead should we go ahead inshallah bismillah <clears throat> so then we learned about al hal in this course okay and you have seen hal can be a mufridism it can be a complete sentence right maraj al bahraini yaltaqiyan the bahrain they merge he mixes the two the two seas as they meet yaltaqiyan jumla failia hal of al bahrain bainahuma barzakh jumla ismiya coming up as a hal right everyone understood this rah yakhruj min min huma al lu'lu wal marjan right the three sentences describing the condition of al bahrain we went over this we learned how a shubu jumla can come up as a hal as well that and to him belongs the big ships in the sea how are they they are like mountains right kal alam can you all see that this kal alam the shubu jumla jar wal majrur we have labeled it as hal of ships yes or no understood very briefly we went over that sometimes your jumla ismiya which is usually preceded by waw which is usually preceded by waw when it is a hal is not going to be with waw and the reason is if the pronoun that is going back that is going back to the ism is not at the beginning of the sentence you can omit waw was it clear to each and every one of you here bainahuma barzakh when we bainahuma barzakh we don't see any waw before jumla ismiya and i taught you the reason can be number one easy one to remember is if there is already a pronoun going back to the sahibul hal you don't need waw right you don't need to have a waw there you already have something that is connecting the jumla ismiya to al bahrain huma is there which is connecting this jumla ismiya to al bahrain is was this clear to you all but the other reason for advanced students is if huma is not at the beginning of the sentence it is allowed for waw to be omitted okay it is allowed for the waw to be omitted when the pronoun is not as at the beginning of the sentence because all the examples that you have learned of jumla ismiya with the waw beginning you must have seen wa huwa mu'min wa huwa muhsin wa antum tanzurun right you see pronoun right after waw and after waw haliya but here there is no waw haliya because the pronoun huma is not at the beginning of the sentence got it Okay. So only sister Faiza got it. What about the rest of you? So you know, you just have to have you make sure that you have a pro, at least a pronoun. At least I didn't. You should be able to find a pronoun that is going back to Sahibul Hal. Okay. Yeah. So it is because Baina is the first word. Huma is not the first word. If Huma was the first word, then it qualifies. Okay. Wa Huma. the and then you your thing starts right so but baina was the first word therefore it is okay to omit 
Wow. And anyways, we have a connector here, Huma, which is going back to Al-Bahrain. Therefore, we don't need Wow. Okay. It's okay to omit it. Then we learned about different types of Sifa, right? In case of Al-Ismul Mufrid, we saw Jannatani, Zawata, Afnan, all four properties matching. Al-Nahlu, Zatul Akmam, all four properties matching. Al-Habbu, Zul Asf, right? All four properties matching. Al-Habbu and Zu matching in all four properties. Al-Nahlu, Zatu matching in all four properties. Jannatani, Zawata, matching in all four properties. Jannatani, Mudhamatani, matching in all four properties. Hurun, Maksurat, matching in all four properties. Khairatun, Hisan, matching in all four properties. Then comes your Shubu Jumla as the Sifa. Salsalin Kalfaqqar, Marijim Minnar, Vardatin, Vardatan Kaddihan. Is this clear? How you have learned that sometimes you can have Jarwal Majroor coming up as a Sifa? Was this clear to you all? Were you able to identify that communism followed by Jar Majroor can be Mosuf Sifa? Right? And you will continue to practice and then you will come. I'm going to update the slides for you as well. Don't forget to go over the final slides that Sister Faiza uploads in the um, in the drive, okay? Because there will be more examples and I'm going to put everything together and you see if your th uh, work matches with my work, okay? Inshallah. And I'm not saying that I'm the standard uh, by any means, but you know, just check. So which, uh, which one is not clear, Sister Kurutule uh, Kudra? What is not clear, my dear sister? The slide before is al -hal. This one? Which one is not clear among the three examples? Let's see. <clears throat> you can unmute yourself. <clears throat> Yes, um, well done, Ustaza. I still am not clear with the last slide. This one? I was trying to, the last, no, the last one, the one, one before this one. This one? Which took a man in Quran? No, no, where you wrote a uh, Jumla Ismia. Oh, the one where you're talking um, about uh, Jumla oh, yeah. Ismia. Let me show you. Let me show you this one. This one. Uh, I think you are talking about this one. Wow, Halia. This one? No. Well, Alia, when we, where you wrote, uh, when it comes to Hal, it may not have pronoun. I think this was a slide that I have um, before. So we were talking about this where, okay, you know. Yeah. Yes, 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 this one, this one, yes, this one. Yeah. yeah. So what is not clear, my dear sister? Um, Because I'm just following, you know, I've been missing, but I'm just following. You're talking about Jumla is me now mm -hmm. and uh, how the pronoun can go back mm -hmm. to this. So I just want to know how, where, uh, how it moves. That's the pronouns now. So you have Al-Bahrain here, oh. which is properism. When you have a properism okay. followed by a Jumla, you look okay. for Hal, right? So the first Hal that okay. you have in these two verses is Yal Taqiyani, which is Jumla failure. And in this Yal Taqiyani, yeah. there is an Alif, Alif with its name, which is going back to the two Cs, right? So I, this, yeah. this qualifies it to be the Hal of Al-Bahraini. Is this clear? Okay. When no, you go no. on to Bainahuma Barzakh, Bainahuma Barzakh, between them two is a barrier, right? This no. sentence is Jumla Ismiya Bainahuma Jar, uh, this is uh, Idafa, Mutalik Bilkhubar Mukaddam, Barzakhun is your Muktada Muakhar, 
here huma is again going back to al bahraini and i am going to call it jumla halia it is describing the condition of bahrain when they are meeting they are meeting in such a way that there is a barrier between them they do completely merge into one another the sweet one remains on this on one side and the salty remains on the one side they don't merge they don't there is a barrier there is a clear barrier between them wh while they are meeting so okay. to for it to be qualified as a hal without any debate i have a pronoun mm -hmm. here huma which is going back to al bahrain so i am good mm -hmm. so this can be my hal i can label it jumla haliya fi mahalli nasban now the question comes that usually what happens is that your jumla haliya is when it is jumla ismiya it is preceded by wow right there is always usually mm. in the quran we see a wow why is there no wow here the wow is absent because the pronoun that is going back to al bahrain is not at the beginning of the sentence the first word in the sentence is no. baina okay no 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 clear no. shuk sure. you're welcome i hope this is clear now and if not you can always go back no and... that's good. inshallah 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 jazakallah khairan I'm in the Yaki, my dear sister. Okay, so yeah, we will just do. Uh, we can just call it uh, when you. The question is when Mutalik uh, uh, Sefa, we uh, we consider any Arab match, you know, for to ease ev uh, for the ease of all, everything, you know, to make things easy. We do call, you know, skalfakhar. If I'm at, you know, at a beginner to an advanced to an intermediate, if I'm teaching a beginner to an intermediate course, I may call it fim halli jarin, just so that you know it's easy. I can call kalfakhari the whole fragment as fim halli jarin because it is a sifa for sangsalin, so that people know how to keep things in the same bucket. Okay, marijin minnar. I can do the same thing that this is fim halli jarin. Sefa for marijin. Kadihan, I can say this is also fi mahalli nasbin. Sefa for gordatin. There is one more question, Sister Faisa. No, Sister Simon, that that was the uh, the question from Doctor uh, uh, Sister Diva that I was pointing out. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, no, yaki. So, uh, are we on the same page, my dear sisters? Now. Jazakallah, Islam. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So let's just continue. So then we have gone over the jumla complete sentence as a sifa. And how many of you find themselves comfortable with calling a whole sentence as a sifa for a word? Type one if you are among those who can easily label a complete sentence as a sifa. A girl who sings beautifully. A girl who recites Quran. Beautifully, so a girl she recites Quran beautifully. I can just put a who there and make a complete jumla failure a sifa for a girl. Now the girl is being described by someone who is doing an action in a verbal sentence, and this whole uh, jumla failure can be the sifa for a girl, right? A girl from USA is an example of what kind of a sifa? Is it an example of alismul mufrid? Or Shubu Jumla or Jumla. A girl from USA. Shubu Jumla, Ismul Mufrad or Jumla? Uh -huh. A girl from USA. USA, from USA. It is Jarwal Majroor, Shubu Jumla. My dear sisters, right? It is an example of Shubu Jumla coming up as a sifa of a girl. But when I say a girl, um, who is um uh, who um, a girl who goes to madrasa what kind of a sentence is describing a girl a jumla now right so she goes to madrasa it's a jumla failure describing a girl right so similarly we learned in surah ar rahman about two springs that flow they two flow and instead of writing they to flow now we are going to translate two springs 
in it are two springs that flow so first of all this whole jumla ismiya fi hima ainani the jumla ismiya was describing jannatan is this a sifa for jannatan do you all agree then when you look at ainani tajriyani is tajriyani sifa for ainani yes or no what do you think sure right they are this is a sifa here first you saw an example of jumla ismiya being the sifa of jannatan then you see jumla failia being sifa of ainani then you saw another jumla ismiya describing jannatani right then you saw furush whose inside were made up of thick brocade and the whole bata inuha min istabrak was describing furush everyone is clear with that we went over the different types of sifat right and i hope towards the end of the course and if you are still not very well versed with that you should go back to the recordings and try to catch a catch up and you know try to make your notes and inshallah that will definitely help you okay inshallah that's why we have kept the recordings okay the next thing i taught you in this course was ayu you have learned it as special mudaf right you all have learned it as special mudaf every one of our dream student or quranic arabic grammar student knows that ayu is one of the special mudaf and it is one of the isms that is istifham right but in this course you were taught about a very special feature of ayu as well that this is not just istifham it is not just special mudaf it is also an ism that is a that is ism shart right those two examples ayyan ayyam ma tad'u it is one of the adwatu shart as well remember that okay this is not whatever we covered we did not see an example of this coming up as ism shart in surah ar rahman but i wanted this course to be a source where people learn about the complete list of their adwatu shart jazima all the isms and huruf that can come up as condition particles or condition tools because some of them may be huruf and some may be asma among the huruf you see in and isma right but among the isms all of them were listed out for you so that you all go home with the complete list of adwatu shart jazima there may be something i'm i'm missing on this slide but you can learn on your on your own and let us know as well okay it is going to be seen it, um, it, it can be seen as a mudaf and it may not be seen as a mudaf here do you see it as a mudaf a yan is it coming up as a mudaf what do you think so uh, rashida you answer this question now no it is not mudaf why is it not mudaf tell me it has a tanween so it is not mudaf here right but is it adwatu shar jazima look at the word after it look at the fail mudare after it the u it is right it is jazima to, but it is not mudaf but here ayyamal ajlaini ayyamal ajlaini is it coming up as a mudaf as well what do you think al ajlaini yes yes it is it is not just ism shart but it is acting as a mudaf making ajlaini al ajlaini jar and status it is its mudafun ilayhi is al ajlaini the ma that is between ayyama and ma ayyama ayyamal ajlaini in both cases is zaida ma is zaida and you have seen many examples of ma zaida with aynama haythuma kayfama right and you still see after aynama mudari mazum ma does not affect any action of ayna it lets aina make mudari mazum after it and the name for this ma is ma zaida but be careful sometimes 
you may not see ma zaida after aina in quran okay sometimes you may see ma as a as a real ma okay so it may not be zaida but in this case in these two examples from quran where ayu was acting as ism shart as well you see two ma it is being followed by ma and in both cases ma is zaida okay so that was about ayu then we went on to learn about different fa's and i'm not going to go over the different fa's yet i'm going to go about uh, over musabbigatul ibtida bin nakra why is mubtada allowed to be common and we saw few examples here and mostly you see whenever mubtada has a jar wal majrur before it it is allowed for it to be common and i have listed few examples for, for you وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ فِيهِمَا عَيْنَانِ وَمِنْ دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَانِ فِيهِمَا عَيْنَانِ نَدْعَخَتَانِ Right? So in all these cases, when Jarwal Majroor was before Mubtada, it is okay for Mubtada to be common. Is this clear to each and every one of you? Okay. Let's go for, um, ahead and see what else did we collect in surah ar rahman in surah ar rahman we came across a concept of al mashghul anhu al mashghul and shaghil how if you see in your jumla there is an ism that is nasbin status and then there is a fail and uh, the fail has a pronoun going back to an ism that is nasbin status can you ever call this as samaa maful bihi for raqaha that is visible here what did you learn no because it is already engaged with ha after it it cannot be the it, as samaa cannot be a maful bihi for rafaa this rafaa so here we learned that there was another rafaa that was omitted right and this whole sentence is explaining the sentence before it right this was called whatever is an explanation what is an arabic term used for explanation what do we call um that we are in our this class where you learn the explanation of your quran tafsir right tafsir is the arabic term for explanation for uncovering for explaining difficult concepts or any you know anything that we have ibham about or we have confusion about or we don't or we are not very clear about so this sentence the name for this sentence was jumla tafsiriya very well done dear class so we know that there was a rafaa as samaa and this as samaa was maful bihi for that rafaa and this rafaa was the jumla tafsiriya for for as samaa and the jumla tafsiriya do they have any arab or they are also going to be la mahalla laha min al arab they are always going to be la mahalla laha min al arab they have no arab remember that okay one would assume that whatever is the status of this should be the status of the jumla tafsiriya but no remember just make a note of that they have no arab in this course you learned that the words that have um if your word has ainul kalima or lamul kalima that is from haruful halqiya which include ha hamza ain ha ghainul kha the chances are the word is from ba fataha the chances are that your that if you have to make a guess you should guess that this word is from ba fataha for example if i give you a word rafaa the chances is this is from fataha family there is a possibility it can be from fataha family and it is from fataha family then you learned um, there was another word wadaa wadaa again that was from fataha family because ain ain in wadaa the lam kalima was again from throat letters therefore it qualifies it is a possibility that this is from fataha family and it was from fataha family then you learned about the entire list of harufu nasiba your light haruf you all have learned about anlan likaizan hatta but you were taught in this course that your harufu nasiba not only include anlan likaizan hatta but they are an lan kai and then 
izan that have the power of their own to make mudare mansub and then you have lam which is lamu ta'lil and it has a hidden an after it and then lamul jahud hatta fa waw aw they also have hidden an after it that can make mudare mansub this is your complete list of haruful nasiba if you have not already memorized it please put it in your notes and make an intention to remember them because you will come across waw and aw in quran you will come across lamul jahud and lamul jahud is is the is a lam that is followed by um that follows actually that follows ma kana or lam yakun okay that follows ma kana or lam yakun hatta you have seen you know several times you know uh, and you know that you know it can have a mudari mansub after it but it, the mudari is mansub after it by a hidden an according to the scholars and the most um at the first you know arab books that you will follow that you will come across they will say that it mudari is mansub bi an mudmira okay by a hidden an which is called an mudmira okay so that was that and then you came across different types of la and i don't know where did my slide go i actually updated it somehow and my um examples are missing from this one i don't know where did they go yeah here they are okay so different types of la that we have seen in this course alla tadghau the first la that interjected between an and la we named that la nafia that la nafia that is ghair amila does not do any uh, anything to mudare we called it mutarida mutarida the la that made mudare madzum la tukhsiru la tukhsiru that acted that had an action we call that la la nahiya the la that does not do anything to fail mudare just standing before right before failun mudare and does not interjecting is just la nafiya lil mudare simple plain la and then again la nafiya lil mudare which is present before mudare majhul la yusalu and this is again la nafiya lil mudare okay so they, these were the how many types we have covered in this course la, one was la nahiya one was la mutarida and one was la lil mudare and the last one not last but not the least the one that you learned was who can tell me la nafiya li tawhidin nafi remember la yusalu an zambihi insum wala jam the four types of la you have covered in this course and each have their own special qualities and you know some are very plain simple nothing changes after them some come in between some make mudare madzum and some are there to increase the negation to add more emphasis to your negation i gave you an example of la nafia la that is zaida but is not nafia do you remember that example in the last session we i, I did tell you i think in the last session or a session before there was a la that i talked about that that is zaida but it is not nafiya li tawkidi nafi ya la uqsimu bi hazal balad la uqsimu la uqsimu bi hazal balad that la is not li tawkidi nafi it is zaida you will see in the arab book it is la zaida but it is not for tawkidi nafi okay keep that in mind that not every zaida is li tawkidi nafi so but this one is li tawkidi nafi that you have uh, um learned in this course and you know all the properties and whatever is needed to know, uh, to, to be um understood about this ta in the course we learned about um why sometimes it is it is wajib it is mandatory to change the sequence of a jumla failia in jumla failia you know the sequence is fail file maful fail file maful when it is mandatory and one of the reasons we have seen when it is mandatory for us for jumla failure to change its sequence who can tell me when a fail has an attached pronoun this one the first reason we have covered it yes aluhu yes aluhu man fi samawati wal ard so here pronoun is attached to the fail so it is mandatory for maful bihi 
to be before file, which was man. Okay, the first one is what we have covered in our 11 sessions of Surah Tur Rahman, right? So, and then the other ones, we have gone over them. So you can always go back and listen to the recordings. And then in case of a sentence that can be seen as mudafilehi, we have seen Advatu shart jazima among the Advatu shart ghair jazima, we learned about iza. Everyone remembers iza? When we learned izan shakkat is sama'u, what did we learn about this word? That this word is, what kind of a word is it? It's a mudaf. What else is special about this? It is zarfiya. It is shartiya. All these answers are correct. Ismiya, shartiya, zarfiya. When we say zarfiya, it has a meaning of a time. Right? Zarfiya. That's why it is Nasbin status. It's going to be Nasbin status because it is to do something with a time. It is Zar Zaman. It is Zar Liz Zaman for time. Right? When the sky is going to be torn apart. So, and Iza pushes the meaning into present future. Very well done, Aisha. All those answers are correct. The Jumla failure after Iza, that is Ismiya, Shartiya, Zarfiya. Jumla failure after this Iza is going to be of what status? What will be the status of Jumla failure after Iza? That is, Ismiya, Shartiya, Zarfiya. It's going to be Fim Halli Jarrin. I gave you the complete, yani, not the complete list. So forgive me, I, it is not the complete list. But these are your Asma that, are you, that you are going to come across in Quran that will have a complete jumla after them, which will be Fim Halijarin. If you want to memorize and you want to master this grammar, the, the, this is where you have to look at, okay? That, you know, what are the what is going to make my jumla jar? What should I look for? Memorize these seven words, okay? Seven, eight, how many words are there? Memorize them, okay? You will always see that, you know, you can check and you will you will find out that the jumla is after, after them fi mahalli jarin in your era books you learned about the cases when your sahibul hal can be common remember when what, what were the cases if your sahibul hal if your sentence is going to be preceded by negation question or forbidding it is allowed for sahibul hal to be common and the, there is an example from quran ma ahlakna min qaryatin illa while for it is a kitab uh, ma'loom. Okay, so this is a karyatin is being the state of karyatin is being described by this sentence. What is allowing it to be jumla halya? Ma, ma nafya is allowing it to be the hal for karya. Though karyatin is a communism, I hope this is clear. For, uh, to each and every one of you when your sahibul hal has a sifa it is allowed for it to be common when your sahibul hal is a mudaf it is allowed for it to be common when sa when your hal is preceded by vaul halia it is allowed for ha uh, sahibul hal to be common like wahua yabka a child came while he was crying it is allowed for sahibul hal to be common and then in Surah Rahman, you saw an example when hal is before sahibul hal. Fihima min kulli faqihatin zaujan. So, in this case, it was allowed for zaujan to be sahibul hal because hal came before it. And then, you know, if the, the last one, you know, you can read it on your own. I want to go over one more thing because my time is already up. What did you learn about Atful Khas al Am in the last session? Why is sometimes we use Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses at fragment? What do you think? To make something special, to make something special for taqsis and to give something preference. To make something special, taqsis, Atful Khas al Am is done. Or to give preference to something over something else, okay? So, failul khairat, every fail is, every good fail. Saying salam to everyone is good. Is it not a good fail? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made 
very special ikama salati wa ita is zakat okay aqama salah wa ita is zakat have been highlighted by use of fragment at here malaika all of them are malaika okay and uh, but jibril wa mikaal have been highlighted by using wa at again all of them were the, in in them too are fruits and date palms and and rumman for guard your prayers is middle prayer not among the as-salawat is salatul asr if we consider it salatul wusta is not among the five prayers that allah is talking about here it is but allah made it very very special was salatul wusta is al malaika not include jibril ami they do include but allah wanted to give preference mullah wanted to make him special so that that is why allah subhanahu wa taala used a roof and that is why murakkab e at was used to give preference to jibril ami to make him special and to raise his mention so that was about all the fragments and everything that we did and i have missed many things but i think i'm i have so less time that i think that's all we we have for today and i think it is a lot um and um if you have any questions um it's a chance to ask me any questions if you have i will give you five more, more minutes for questions and there can be any questions any general questions if you want to ask about grammar grammar related questions are you are welcome to ask and i hope you find some help or you know if you found this course um beneficial it was not too too hard for you no questions okay alhamdulillah so yeah no i mean well, yakum my dear sisters i hope um um uh, we continue at, uh, our journey together of learning quran and inshallah we'll be back with another surah soon and um, we'll see how things go inshallah um i hope you um continue to find your sukoon your happiness in quran and may allah subhanahu wa taala um keep you connected to quran may allah subhanahu wa taala guide us all and guide through us many many and um, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh